What's up guys, doing another video here in the fish room answering another question. This one is regarding what people reference to as the sucker fish. This is a really common phrase for people that don't know what a pleco catfish is. Uh, they're known as the plecostomus and uh, it's a common myth that these sucker fish clean poop, they clean your aquarium. It's a super common myth. Uh, it's not true. They eat algae and help clean the tank of algae and so forth, but a lot of times they will actually put more of a bio load on your tank than not having one because they're ravenous feeders and uh, they just, they don't stop feeding. They're actually somewhat invasive. They're in the waters of Florida, pretty much everywhere. But anyways, as far as keeping them in tanks, I keep them, I keep one pleco in pretty much every single aquarium I have in my fish room. Why? Because they do help clean the tanks. I like to keep driftwood in a lot of my tanks. And uh, here, I'm gonna show you guys a picture. Video here. Here is a pleco, also known as a sucker fish to you guys. And here he is cleaning away at everything. They are nonstop feeders and they're great to have in your aquariums. But as you can see, all these long stringy poops are from him because he's constantly cleaning this piece of wood and feeding on things that grow on it. And yes, it's awesome to have a cleanup crew, but that goes hand in hand with him also pooping probably uh, uh he, he they poop a lot just beware a uh, sucker fish doesn't mean your tank's gonna be clean what basically if you're looking for a fish to clean the glass and help clean the decorations of algae they're a good fish to have if you're looking for him to clean poop and clean the tank of poop not gonna happen not a good idea and uh, as far as taking care of them, you, sh you can search for my Plecostomus video. It's, it's a super huge video. It's got thousands upon thousands of views. But uh, just a quick guide, here's another one. See him back there? Constantly cleaning and picking up uneaten food and stuff like that in the rocks, which is great uh, getting rid of that stuff. But uh, like I said, they poop too and big poop. So, uh, let that be known. As far as taking care of them, I'm gonna run through this real quick. Uh, super easy to care for, they're nocturnal. So basically all you have to do is make sure they get like an algae wafer at right before the lights go off. Throw an algae wafer in there right before the lights go off and uh, they will eat it, they are nocturnal. Even though you see mine out during the day right now, they're mostly nocturnal. So the most common reason I see Plecos die, and it's very common to have them die on people because they usually starve to death because they're nocturnal and they can't get any food at night, mostly. So they're very opportunistic though. A lot of times you will see them uh, at the surface of the water upside down feeding on the fish food at the surface. Uh, they're, they're pretty crazy feeders at times. So the sucker fish, aka Plecostomus. So hit up the comments if you guys have any questions. Um, I love plecos. I can talk about them for days. Don't worry about boring me. This is my life. Woo.